hey, remember when we released this video on USB microphones and it ended up being like one of the most helpful videos on the channel? Yeah, well, just about every one of those companies has released a new microphone. Blue Microphones dropped theirs this morning as of filming this. Uh, Razer released theirs last week. HyperX released theirs, I believe, the week before. This has been like the month of new microphones. Even Sure, by the way, Sure is like teasing a new microphone that looks like the successor to the Shure SM7B. So, you know, expect a video on that soon. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. So yeah, let's take a look at some of these microphones, uh, specifically the more popular ones released in 2020, and see if we can figure out which one you should buy. So we've got four USB microphones we're gonna be looking at today. We've got the Blue Yeti X, which was originally released in November of 2019. However, they just released a new version that's World of Warcraft themed this morning. We've got the Razer Siren Mini, which was announced last week. It's only $50 and it comes in pink. So there's a plus. We've got the HyperX Quadcast S, which is a follow-up to their super popular Quadcast. And of course, we've got the Elgato Wave. We're using the Elgato Wave 1 today, but you guys know that the Elgato Wave microphones have been my favorite just because of the software included in them. Let's unbox them, let's test them and listen to them. Let's take a look at some of their features and uh, figure out who should be buying which mic. And you know what, while we're on the topic of audio, Let's talk about today's sponsor, StreamBeats. You like that segue? That was like Linus Tech Tips level segue. <laughs> StreamBeats, if you're not aware, is copyright free music for streamers and YouTubers, and it's not your typical background elevator music. It is good, solid music. Every single song has been manually approved by YouTube to make sure you will not get demonetized in your videos. And it's available on just about every single streaming platform, Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, Deezer, YouTube, whatever you use. So feel free to play it in the background of your streams or your podcasts, or if you wanna download it for your YouTube videos, there's a download link available right in the Discord. We've got over four genres to choose from and many more on the way. Check them out in the links down below. Also super important, by the way, if you have any other questions about microphones or audio or any of these things, both myself and my audio engineer friend, Ryan, who works at Senpai Records, both stream on Twitch. And we talk about all these things. So link to both of our Twitch accounts in the description below. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. He streams Wednesday and Friday. I, I think this is exactly the same. I looked up some, uh, some specs on this earlier and I didn't see any difference in specs. It looks like they switched to USB type C, which is a nice addition, but for the most part, it's the same thing, but with fancy colors. You wanna grab the other one so we can see it? Yeah. Uh, they don't put any red on this one, so that way it doesn't screw with whatever color LEDs, but yeah, just the two different, here, come take a look at the USB ports on the back. There you go. See the difference in, Oh yeah. other than that, they are literally, Exactly the same. Are you doing the pink one because I asked you to or because you want to do the pink I'm, one? I'm doing it because I'm attracted to this. <laughs> Naturally. <laughs> I'm attracted to cute things and uh, this is very cute. Got some USB. The cables are even pink? Yes. <laughs> and and green. <laughs> we got the, uh, what I believe is a stand. Uh... <laughs> oh my gosh. The... <laughs> It feels very light. Really? Yes. It looks solid. It it feels like like it's meant to dissolve in your stomach. <laughs> Does this go on here? Should sure. I read the instructions? All right. It's the puppy dog of microphones. This is the this is the last one. This one came out this morning. I like how they have to explain that you don't talk into the top. You talk into the front. <laughs> they put that on every single one of their USB mics. <laughs> People still get it wrong. People still do it. Ooh, the gold accents. Oh, that's actually kind of sick. The gold around the, oh my goodness. Here, check this out. You get the gold around here. You get the gold blue logo, the gold World of Warcraft on the back. I don't even play World of Warcraft. And the gold base, this is kind of, this is pretty sick. And then the, the, light, the light up part here is like World of Warcraft symbols. I don't know what they're called. Runes, maybe? Maybe. We're gonna go with runes. <laughs> oh, yep, there we go. Red light. It's in the red. There you guys see the little red one. As as totally unnecessary as as like that kind of stuff is. Like I'm not. I've never been the one to like buy a microphone for a. I don't know what you call it. A gimmick. It's kind of sick. 
They did it. They did a good. This is a, a well done gimmick. All right, cool. That's all the unboxing. The lights. I've been doing purple for the last couple of videos. It needs to change. You uh, do, do purple and green. Well, what about uh, pink and green? Just just like the razor. <laughs> like your favorite one? Yeah. All right. I'm really feeling. I the actually aesthetics. really like that. Let's, <laughs> okay. let's make this one a little pinker. A little watermelon. Yeah. Pink and green. Sure. Sam, how do the colors look? <laughs> is any good? Super good. Well, we're using it anyway. <laughs> Finish the audio quality test. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's the best way to listen to copyright free music while you stream? Why, stream beats, of course, you big dumb idiot. Hey, what's the best way to listen to copyright free music while you stream? Why, stream beats, of course, you big dumb idiot. Hey, what's the best way to listen to copyright free music while you stream? Why, stream beats, of course, you big dumb idiot. Hey, what's the best way to listen to copyright free music while you stream? Why, stream beats, of course, you big dumb idiot. That was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought the razor was going to sound a, a lot worse. It's actually not bad. It's maybe a little duller than the other microphones, but for a $50 microphone, that's not horrible. <laughs> Let me listen again to the HyperX Quadcast. Hey, what's the best way to listen to copyright free music while you stream? Why, stream beats, of course, you big dumb idiot. My favorite is the Wave 1. On both of our voices? Definitely on mine. And yeah, I'd say overall, there's a, the, the inherent EQ of it sounds the most balanced to me. So your voice uh, naturally has like a lower, fuller thing than my voice. And um, like, I find it too much on the Yeti, just as is. And for that same reason, it sounds more dull on my voice. The Yeti does, it sounds more dull on my voice. Yeah, the HyperX Quadcast sounds pretty good on my voice. It sounds uh, too, too muddy and boomy on your voice for my liking. Hmm. I mean, I, I, you can EQ all of these, but in gen generally speaking, all of these are definitely usable. The Razer Siren, you can note. I can notice that you're missing a lot of frequencies that the other microphones are are giving you. I'd give the HyperX Quadcast a four out of five on my voice. I like the intelligibility of it, and it still has a fullness to it. I'd give the Wave One a 3.5 out of five on my voice. I guess the point is that they're both good to me, they're just a little different. The Wave One's high end on my voice is a little smoother, but because of that, it's a little less intelligible. I'd give the Yeti X a three. Really? <laughs> a three out of five on my voice. Yeah. There's a lot of high frequencies that um, are not there. And even though there's a very booming low end, I miss the clarity. I'd give the Razer a three. Granted, there is not a lot of low frequencies in it, but I don't personally feel like I need that in my voice as much. Yeah, every one of these is pretty good. The HyperX is way too mid heavy on my voice. I think I'd agree. I think the Wave One's probably my favorite. Yeah, it's interesting how different each one is. Like the Yeti X has like got that deep boomy stuff, which I mean the pro to the Yeti X is you can change that in the EQ right in the software itself. Yeah. I mean, you can EQ any of these though. The Wave One is 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 a little bit crisper on the high end. The the Quadcast has like a lot more mid tones to it, which, in my opinion, makes it a little bit muddier. And I'm not crazy about that sound. I'm honestly I'm kind of a fan of the Razer. It's it was exciting. it's like the most like balanced. Yeah. Like the Yeti's got the most low, the Wave's got the most high. I want to hear the siren and the and the Wave right next to each other. Why stream beats, of course, you big dumb idiot. Why stream beats, of course, you big dumb idiot. There's definitely more detail in the Wave. The Wave's my favorite for sure. I'd give the Wave, I'm, I'm gonna give it a nine out of ten. On my voice, my personal preference, I think I'm gonna give the siren that like a like an eight out of ten. And then I think I'd probably, if I had to choose, I'd probably it, just in terms of sound quality, I'd probably go with the Yeti X over the Quadcast because I really don't like mid heavy vocals. Mm. So I'd probably put the Yeti next to like right below it at a seven, just because it really is lacking the high end. And then the Quadcast, I'd probably, I, I'll probably throw them both at a seven. Like these are all good mics. Let's talk about uh, like build quality and aesthetics of these four microphones. Um, so, cause that <clears throat> is underrated in my opinion. Yeah. I think the way a microphone looks on a broadcast is super important. Obviously this is the, the best one. As long as they don't hold it. <laughs> cause it feels like if you drop it, it will crack. Um, no, I think, I think features wise in terms of like how it looks on stream, this one is definitely the most elaborate, the HyperX. Mm -hmm. It has the most customizable LEDs and all that and stuff. Those prominent LEDs. Very prominent, yeah. Yeah. Because, like, this has a lot of customizable yeah, stuff, too. Yeah, that's true. But, like, it's just the tiny little knob here. 
Yeah, I don't think you're going to see much of that on no, stream. No, because right? it's going to be on the back. Yeah. So I'd give this a five, a four. Honestly, I'd give this a four as well. Really? Yeah. Okay. And give this a three. I would give these both. So mine's out of 10. <laughs> I would give these both a nine. It'd be just, I think it's two totally different styles. Like, I have always loved the way blue microphones look. I think they're like the most, like the classiest. They're beastly heavy things, mm -hmm. super classy looking. And I love the gold on this, dude. I think they, I think they nailed it. But like, if you're looking for something more gamer and RGB, I'd go with this, I'd give it a nine. Mm -hmm. If you're going with something more classic, especially if you want to like, you know, get the shock mount and put it on a, put it on a, an arm or something, I'd also give this a nine. And then, <laughs> I don't like the look of the Elgato mics. That's been yeah. my biggest complaint about it. I think it's square. No, I just rectangle? think it's boring. It just it's like it, they look cheap. I don't mm. think they look as good as they sound. I would give, I mean, the thing aesthetics because you're not counting how how much this weighs. This drives me nuts. <laughs> but they don't see that. Um, and this one has like other options, like having like a a boom, like a stand, a shock mount, and stuff. So yeah. I would put this above this one, but I would give this one a five and this one a. Five. Four or four and a half. Uh -huh. We'll say four. I guess I like I like the simpler, sleeker, quote unquote, boring. I th and I think the only reason I didn't rank the blue higher is because I feel like most of the aesthetic things, which are really cool, are will not show up on stream. It's more about you personally, which is That's important true. as well. Yeah. But. Except I think the gold accents stand out quite a That's bit. That's true. Gold. The gold is cool. The gold. There's gold on the front and on the back. <laughs> See, this thing is so pretty. Okay. That's aesthetics. Uh, let's talk about functionality because we also installed all the hardware for all the microphones. Mm -hmm. Which one is your favorite in terms of functionality? Like the two that stand out to yeah. me are the blue, let's bring it back. Oh yeah. <laughs> the blue the blue software and the Elgato software uh -huh. are by far yeah. the top. I'd give for two totally different reasons. Yeah, I'd give I'd give blue for sure a 5 out of 5. Okay. Because the Logitech G Hub integration mm -hmm. was super in depth. There was a lot of stuff in there. Yeah, you can do. You can change EQ, you change compression, and not just like like you can do a simple compression mm -hmm. like the bar, but you can also click like the more button and go and change the attack and release, which you know all about attack and release and <laughs> yes. compression. Yes, I do. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for clarifying. That. Yeah, you know, you can like you can go into deep settings on everything mm -hmm. on literally any setting you'd want. Yeah, really deep. Deep customization. Uh -huh. So I, I didn't even know that existed until today. Yeah, it was amazing, really. It I'm surprised. Really <laughs> Very surprised. It was cool. I'd also give this a five out of five, but it, like you were saying, for a different reason. Mm. Um, you don't have like the EQ customization and all, all those Which is things. weird. Yeah, it's a little interesting that people leave that out. But mm. um but the the routing, the mixing capabilities for stream is uh very, very awesome to have when mm. you use this microphone. Like personally for what I use on stream, I would give that a, I'd give that a, I'll give it an eight because I feel like it's got so much room to grow. Mm -hmm. It is my favorite. I would give this, I'd give this a seven. I'm being really harsh with this just because mm -hmm. I feel like USB mic software is the the biggest hurdle right now. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, I'd, I'd even give this a six. Oh. Like the fact that you can't, like adjusting levels of different things is the highest priority for streamers. Mm. And the fact that they put so much software into that, but none of that functionality, when this, like there was a lot in there. I was really mm. impressed with what it had, but I feel like it was missing the most important thing, which is what the Elgato had. Plus you can download free EQ and compression software right into OBS. True. So it doesn't really like, it's not really missing that much. So I'd give, I'd give that one an eight and give this one a six. Mm -hmm. well, what about these two? The HyperX, I would give a three out of five. That's really nice. <laughs> yeah. You know, you still have some basic monitoring options, like basic functionalities, and then you have a, a lot of LED color options hmm. as well, so. You give it a three out of five? I'd give it a three out of 10. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think there, there's almost no audio control in there except okay. for basic like three different levels. Mm -hmm. Plus, is this in the shot? This has to be in the shot. It was like right here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, We're professionals. Yeah, but there was like almost no audio control in there. And even the LED stuff like was just kind of weak. Like there are only two different zones. Mm -hmm. There's a bottom and a top. And so you can't get like a, like how much, more expensive would it cost to add two more zones in the middle so you could get like a good wave 
You know, in the software, it was showing it like fading up, but then it was like, there, 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 there. <laughs> a little it, clunky. It was just a little weak. Yeah, All so right. I'd give it a three out of 10. What about Razor? I was planning on giving this a zero out of five. I was gonna give it a zero out of 10. Uh, okay. <laughs> there is no, there's nothing. <laughs> like literally nothing, no software. You literally plug it in and that's what you get. Which, even though we're giving it a zero mm -hmm. in terms of functionality, maybe I'll give it a one because it, picks up your voice and that's a function <laughs> that's of true. the microphone and the fact that it's fifty dollars that's the thing it's fifty dollars and yeah. it sounded good like we can jump into value which uh -huh. is the last one here uh if you're trying to like if, you, if you're just trying to pick up your voice and you don't care about anything else you don't care about monitoring your mic in the headphones that'd be the biggest thing i would miss there's mm -hmm. no headphone jack so you can't yeah monitor anything but if all you're trying to do is pick up your voice and you just want to set the level in the windows settings and then forget about it it sounded pretty good for 50 bucks. I was super impressed. Plus yeah. it comes in pink. <laughs> the pink, the Pepto-Bismol. That's what I was thinking of. That's what this whole uh, time. This whole time. Pepto-Bismol. <laughs> so that one was $50. We used the Wave 1, which was $129. The way this new quadcast is $150. Uh -huh. So $50, $130, $150. And this World of Warcraft one is $200. Oh. But the regular Yeti X, which has all the same functionality, is twenty dollars cheaper. So let's go with one eighty. Yeah, let's say if that's one eighty. One fifty. One fifty. One thirty. One thirty. One thirty. And fifty. Fifty. Oh. So honestly, in terms of value, I'd probably give this guy. I think I have to give that thing like an eight. Like it's eight so cheap and it sounds so good that I'd have to give the value of that an eight. If you're looking for a budget microphone, if you only have fifty dollars, yeah. Yeah, and you don't care about mic monitoring, you don't care about EQ, you don't care about anything, which you can put, throw on EQ in OBS. Yeah, no, I'd, I'd agree with you, honestly. The way this sounded and how cute it is, I'd have to give the equivalent of eight out of 10. <laughs> which is? Four out of five. Yeah, yeah, I just want to make sure. <laughs> that one, I would, because it's, it's so it's 129. So this is, the, this is the wave one. The wave three is 159. I think the wave one is a better value. You can mm -hmm. do almost everything the Wave 3 can do right in the software. You just don't have as much controls on the mic itself. I think you control one or two extra things that you can't control in the software on this thing. Hmm. But I'd probably also for like the, for the higher end people who want to spend, I'd also give it an eight just because it's basically a, a Go XLR and a microphone built into one. Hmm. So it's for a higher a higher tier of spenders, but it's it's my favorite microphone that I recommend to people. Um, yeah, it's gonna sound like I'm copying you. <laughs> but you give it another four. I was gonna. That's why you did it out of five. So was, you're not copying. I was gonna me. give it. A, yeah, yeah, that's what it was. I was gonna give it four out of five. Well, maybe I should give it a five out of five. I Ooh. I really like how this microphone sounds. Couple that with the software, which is makes everything so much easier for streaming. I I really like what this microphone offers. How about this one? 180 slash 200 for the War World of Warcraft. That's my biggest problem with this one. It's just so expensive that I have a hard time like knowing who this is, who this is for. Mm -hmm. Like they have the Yeti Nano, which sounds probably just as good and it's $99. And so like, what about this really makes it $80 more for just going with the standard Yeti X. And I can't yeah. think of any reason to spend $180 on a mic for what it does. So the, the biggest problem I have with this one, I like the sound, I like the look, uh, the functions were good. Uh, it doesn't have the most important thing, but it has more than any other, other one except for the Elgato. Mm -hmm. But it's just so expensive. I'd probably give the value of this one a four. Four out of 10. Four out of 10. Just because I don't know why you'd spend $180 on a mic. Honestly, if it were between this and the and the Yeti Nano, I'd say go with the Yeti Nano. It's half the cost almost. Mm -hmm. I was gonna rank it a little higher just because, maybe it's because I'm an audio nerd. I loved all the the deeper audio mm. tweaks you could do. Yeah. But I do recognize that that might not apply to everyone. But. Yeah, because I feel like the people who want to tweak all the all the settings that you can do mm -hmm. in the Logitech G software. The, per the person who wants to do all that is going to get an XLR mic. And they could probably figure out how to do it in OBS mm -hmm. with the plugins and stuff. I was going to give it a uh, <laughs> 2.5 out of 5. Okay. Hyper -X. X. I feel like the biggest reason people buy this is because it looks good. It's a good mic. Sounds mm -hmm. good. It's a little mid-heavy for me. Mm -hmm. But it's not. you don't have a ton of control. You have a single knob here that controls your headphone volume. I mean, re the real value here is the aesthetics. 
That's yeah. that's what people buy it for. In that case, it is really cool. It is like the most gamer looking mic. I maybe give this a six. A six? Mm -hmm. Two point five out of five. Okay, so these so two same. are the same. Yeah, I I kind of rank those together. Yeah, they're they're very similar. I, I I respect that. Okay, dude, I'm really regretting but making them out of five. <laughs> dude, you gotta own it. Uh, guys, thank you for watching. I hope this helped. Uh, if you have any questions, both of us again, both of us stream. Our links are in the description down below. <clears throat> Uh, I stream a lot of just chatting, talking about mics and amongst other things, Ryan actually streams music production. So if you have some really in-depth audio questions, jump into his stream. And I hope this helped. And as always, say it. Happy listening. <laughs> I'm just letting it, I'm letting it happen. It's going to be a thing. It's, it's not going to be a thing, <laughs> but it's also going to be a thing. <laughs> I'm going to make it.